A climate change denier recently asked me in PM, if climate change is real what are the solutions? So let's do that. Here's a simple list that can be implemented today. Reduce fossil fuels and increase renewables. Upgrade the power infrastructure to be more efficient and set higher standards for building insulation and efficiency. The power grid is currently at or above capacity yet power demands continue to grow. At the same time the grid is so inefficient that we are wasting power just getting the power from the plants to our homes. These also reduce power bills and reduce costs in the long run, enhance mass transit and get more cars off the road. Provide larger subsidies and rebates for using mass transit. Adjust city roads and infrastructure to favor mass transit. Efficiency higher across the board. Consumer packaging needs to be more efficient and less bulk and wrapping. Less packaging equals less waste and less carbon footprint. More efficient technology standards on everything from light bulbs ban halogen bulbs for LEDs TVs to appliances. Promote programs to reduce meat consumption. Eating vegetables requires less land and produces less waste than a similar portion of meat by many fold. Stop deforestation. Many products currently made with trees like paper can instead be made from other plant materials that grow fast and work just as well, bamboo, and various other plants can replace cutting down forests. Mandatory recycling is not just good for the environment recycling is cheaper than cutting down trees. Set federal efficiency standards that require devices to fully depower when switched off. Most devices in your home are using many watts of power even when, turned off, and nobody is home. They should instead fully depower. This is good for the environment and saves electricity bills. The power these devices in the US pull in, standby mode, is enough to power a major metropolitan city for a year. Set incentives for families that have only one child versus two or more. Reduce population explosion and you reduce waste. You don't have to force people to have only one kid or penalize people for having more instead offer rewards and tax breaks for only having one kid. Passive encouragement. Replace fossil fuels with renewable fuels. Some combustion engines will need to remain but they don't need to run on fossil fuels. They can be run on hydrogen fuel cells, compressed natural gas, biodiesel, ethanol and others. Small changes can allow a car to run on multiple types of fuel without significantly increasing the cost of the car. Most of what is required can be done in software. South American countries already have this in most new cars. Just those changes would reduce climate change and most of them are actually more efficient too. So they can be done without increasing costs. A bit of investment in the infrastructure to implement these will bring costs down lower than they are now. Not a perfect list but a good start to simple changes each of us individually can make to be more responsible. http colon slash slash www.50waystohelp.com slash It should be noted that government agencies even under Trump believe climate change is real, is caused by humans and is already having visible effects. The 543-page National Climate Assessment Report was written by scientists from 13 federal agencies, including the Environmental Protection Agency and the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration. It concludes that temperatures in the U.S. have risen sharply, by 1.6 degrees Fahrenheit, over the last 150 years and that it is, extremely likely that most of the global mean temperature increase since 1951 was caused by human influence on climate. Evidence for a changing climate abounds, from the top of the atmosphere to the depths of the oceans, the report states. Thousands of studies conducted by tens of thousands of scientists around the world have documented changes in surface, atmospheric, and oceanic temperatures, melting glaciers, disappearing snow cover, shrinking sea ice, rising sea level, and an increase in atmospheric water vapor. Many lines of evidence demonstrate that human activities, especially emissions of greenhouse heat-trapping gases, are primarily responsible for recent observed climate changes.